This talk could easily be called the masculine, the feminine and the new energetic template for planet Earth. For the Christ represents the masculine component of these new streams of incoming energy and the Magdalene represents the feminine component. One day in the distant future humanity and the Earth will have evolved to a point where the masculine and feminine energetic polarities become one and a fully balanced advanced human being and planetary system emerges into a new stage of evolutionary progression. We haven't reached that stage yet but for now the idea of the masculine and feminine are very important within the context of our development. It is the oscillation between the two energetic polarities that drives evolution forward. On Earth, masculine energy has been in the ascendant for around 2000 years. In the last 100 years or so, we have witnessed the re-emergence of the feminine energetic polarity. Feminine energy and the best qualities of the feminine polarity caring, compassion, nurturing, are really important in this time of transition. The two polarities are interwoven within each of us and the key for all of us is to bring them into balance. Often we seek that balance through a partner who possesses the attributes that we lack. The way forward is to understand that we are both masculine and feminine as Rudolf Steiner pointed out, this idea extends beyond our physical being into the ethereal, with men generally having etheric bodies of a feminine polarity and women etheric bodies of a masculine polarity. The same idea applies to the earth. Its physical body is essentially feminine, its etheric body masculine. One might see this as a representation of the Christ and the Magdalene. In cosmic and energetic terms, the Christ carries the masculine energetic polarity and the Magdalene the feminine. At the end of their physical incarnations on earth around 2000 years ago, the masculine Christ energy went into the etheric body of the planet, whilst the feminine Magdalene energy went deep into the earth. In this time of change, sometimes known as the second coming, the masculine Christ energy seeks to unite through the etheric life force with the goddess or Magdalene energy that is awakening within the earth. Human beings have a very important role in this process. It is almost that this is our mission that we have forgotten about, our forgotten mission for humanity. For we are the interface between the two polarities. The Christ energy seeks to join with us through the etheric and we become the interface between this and the feminine energy that is coming up from the earth. We are not being asked to worship the Christ but to become the energy of the Christ both the masculine and feminine aspects, to open ourselves, raise ourselves to these highest possible vibrations and live through the principles of unconditional love, compassion and respect. It is important to then think of ourselves not just as physical beings, but also as etheric beings with physical form. As I've said, the Christ seeks to unite with us through the etheric and this will eventually become the life force, our chief source of energy, as opposed to, for example, food which we take in physically. The planet is also set to become less dense physically and more etheric and we see this process unfolding through the weather patterns that are effective in redistributing energy across our world. Given the colossal forces involved, we might only imagine how this process will unfold. Everything is done as gently as possible. 
And this year and in the times ahead, we should work hard on developing and maintaining our etheric bodies as well as our physical bodies. There are many ways to do this. Regular exercise, meditation, martial arts, music, literature, healing activities, positive thinking are all ways to lift one's vibration. We must also begin to work with the earth in a new way, at a far deeper level, treating it as a living being. Our task, as I said, the forgotten mission of humanity, is to raise ourselves to become beings of love. Love is the only coming reality. Everything else is a distraction 